believe you guessed it, at home edition of Rocket League Central. Probably could have guessed based on the fact that I haven't had a haircut in 400 million years. I'm Brody Leaf X Moore, and I am here to bring you all the Rocket League content your heart could ever desire. And as per usual, we have a great show for you guys today. Grid Watch will be recapping all of North American RLCS Season X. We take a look at Shazet 45's career in Double Tap, and in the breakout, we got all the good community content. It's Pride Month, and you know Rocket League wants to celebrate with some brand new content. There's a new Love ISLV playlist from artists in the LGBTQ plus community, which you can listen to on the Rocket League radio for this month only. Now, I know you're sad because some of these songs are bangers. Don't worry, the playlist will become available as a free bundle in the item shop June 21st. In addition to the music though, there's also a free set of Love ISLV wheels available in the item shop right now. But we're moving on because it's time for coverage of the entire North American RLCS Season X. The RLCS Season X regular season has officially wrapped up, and what a season it was. Well, the first ever fully online season brought with it a myriad of challenges to which not every team was capable of adapting to. It also brought some of the best Rocket League play ever seen on this side of a land. So before the championship kicks off later this month, let's take a look back at Season X and see how the competition evolved over the course of the biggest and most unique season in Rocket League history. This week, we'll be covering North America, perhaps the most contentious and dynamic region of the season, which saw both the biggest upsets, but also biggest paradigm shifts between fall and spring. The first major milestone of the season was the first fall regional, which was a good first look at which teams were adapting to the new formats and which had yet to get it together. The team who emerged ahead of the pack were Space Station Gaming, Season 9's regional runners-up, and despite NRG taking the second place spot, it was the Peeps who gave them the biggest run for their money. Dive bombing towards Gyro, but Gyro picks up the ball! He's there! The for the Peeps! They force Game 7! We're going the distance! It couldn't be more entertaining for the peeps. They finally take down Space Station in this game where they played a lot of defense. They felt a lot of pressure. They had to come back. They score three straight, the last one in overtime. The second fall regional saw the birth of the greatest rivalry of North American Season X, as Team Envy and NRG met in the Grand Finals for the first of many clashes. NRG swept this initial duel, but Envy would return the favor in the third regional with a sweep of their own before going on to win the whole thing. Can he finish it? On the buzzer beater, onto the backboard, Ooh. Turbo pulls us up for it, it's gonna need more help again. Off to the corner, Atomic keeps it high, is missed anywhere to be seen! There he is! <laughs> it in with the buzzer beater! Envy will take it in seven! Atomic, what command here, gets the bounce, the instant follow through, Rapid knew it, he goes, oh, you've got to be kidding me, he dug that out. By the time the Fall Major rolled around, the competition had crystallized somewhat with Space Station Gaming, NRG, Team Envy, and G2 Gaming topping the scoreboards as their strongest teams in North America. SSG were the ones who ended up taking the first major crown, but things were just getting started. They could only rest on their laurels for a short time before the winter split was in full swing. All match long. And it isn't getting any slower. Garrett, another challenge. This is it. Well, NRG's last chance. He goes for a quick one to Squishy. Back over to Garrett. Justin already jumped in the air and he missed the ball. He missed it. Time is expiring. There's no goals for NRG on the board. Space Station have done it. They are your North American Fall Major Champions. Space Station Gaming, they have had such an incredible split. Winter was evidently the season of Envy. The Titanic trio asserted their dominance by winning the first two regional events back to back, even trouncing their bitter foes NRG in both tournaments. The third regional ended up being somewhat of a wild card event, however, as for the first time in the season, the day was won not by one of the big four, but by Rogue, who outmaneuvered both Envy and NRG to steal top spot for themselves. They are feeling good. Seven seconds from the victory. Squishy to try and tie it up out to Garrett. Three seconds left, it's on target, and the block from first killer. Time has expired. Justin keeps it alive. Garrett G's in front of the box. Can he find the pass? Turn Joe blocks it. It drops it. Rogue for the first time. Regional champs in North America. It's been an eternity and it took a couple roster swaps to get here. As if to prove that their victory wasn't a fluke, Rogue came within a hair's breadth of running away with the Winter Major as well, though they were thwarted in the 11th hour by NRG, who won two back-to-back -back sets in a truly impressive display of force. Now, to carry it away, gives it the first killer. The clutch player, touted by some as the best player in the world right now. Can he step up in the moment when Rogue needs it? Justin, 
On the backboard for Ooh, Garrett to drop it down and through! They get revenge for the regional event number three and become RLCS North American Winter Split Major Champion! Spring is a season of change and rebirth, and appropriately, it was the most neck and neck North American split of the season. Rogue were quick to assert themselves yet again by taking Spring Regional 1, though shockingly, very few of the top teams even made it past the first round of the playoffs. Proof that this split was anyone's game. Garrett G looks to try and create the opportunity. T. Corral looks to get to him. Good block. It's a little bit more time off the clock. Shock. No way. Just gets over there one more time. And That's with game. that, the wow. Sonics book their spot in the semifinals. They have done it. And NRG are out. SSG would emerge victorious from the second spring regional, their first major since the end of the fall split. Yet once again, their time in the sun didn't last long, as Regional 3 once again came down to another installment of NRG versus Envy's never-ending struggle for the title of NA's best. This time, Envy would win, but NRG struck back at the spring major, wiping their rivals out early in the playoffs. NRG went on to win the major, despite the best efforts of the revived G2 gaming, making them the currently reigning champions of North America. That miss from Dries might be the reset Oh, and NRG oh, looking for passes, That's Squishy! That's the series! Yes. Oh, Squishy puts it in, finally the mistake opens up 10 minutes and 22 seconds into overtime. Will they be able to defend their title, or will the Season X Championship once again crown a new ruler of the region? With a playing field this close, the answer is up in the air, like a ball arcing towards a net. And now joining us again, we had to have him back, it's Damar Dazrin Williams. Welcome to the show, buddy. Man, that's a, I think that's the first time I've heard you say my first name. That's different. It wow. is, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it definitely is. Is that we got to make sure that it lines up with the the card. We can put whatever you want. We'll just we'll, we'll just put that. We'll make some long name up, like tw twenty eight letters long. How about that? Yeah, like you know, like the Babarin or something. Yeah, the Babarin. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's great. I'll go back to Dazrin then. If it's weird and you out here, but uh, uh, man, you've been you've been busy. So we, we got to talk about a few things right now because you know uh, we all know coming up is the RLCS X Championships. That's big. Nine months have been leading up to that. But before that, we've had some other things going on. Of course, IWO qualifiers have been happening. And you've been working on uh, another project right now. Level Next has been going on. And, and maybe some people uh, may have overlooked that one. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, when's Rocket League back? I'm like, it hasn't stopped. So if you want to break down, you know, what's uh, what's going on? What, what's Level Next all about? Yeah. Yeah, so Level Next is a, you know, collegiate Rocket League tournament that had a bunch of schools. I think it's probably one of the biggest tournaments for that level, like for like, you know, the Scholastic slash Collegiate mm -hmm. of Rocket League in terms of prize pool with $125,000 where I believe 50,000 goes to the schools and then 75,000 goes to the players. It's something around there. And then on top of that, huge, I think like over 900 teams signed up for that or somewhere around that line. Uh -huh. And it's been going on, I want to say for about almost, uh, not, I won't say a week, but we, we ended up starting this um, a while ago and we ended up playing in these huge regionals. We had like these conferences where we had eight teams uh -huh. in a single elimination bracket and from there on uh, we had teams qualified through that then from there we had a last chance qualifier where 32 teams played and a single elim bracket with best of sevens then we picked eight teams from that and, and now we're in the middle of our champs which is a 24 team double elim best of seven you know all the way through uh -huh. it's been wild it's been we've had player interviews We've had some cool camera perspectives coming in and out of that, some good knowledge on schools around. And uh, we've also had Puckett join uh, in terms of casting. Yeah. I don't think he's been able to cast since like, or he hasn't cast at Rocket League since like MLG. The like, MLG, the good old days, man. <laughs> yeah, almost like five years ago or something like that. So it's been a while and he's loving it. He's, he's been yeah. enjoying his time. Well, I, gotta, I, I got two things I got to say to you. One right off the bat, I got to say I'm mad jealous because Walshie and Puckett were my two idols growing I met Walshie in a bathroom one time. So that one's cro <laughs> That's a story. Okay. Kind of and then, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, well, uh, of course, Puckett is my next one after that. And I've added Seltzer to the list uh, since then, too. But those were the two growing up. You're like, oh, that, you know, watching yeah. uh, MLG on TV, G4 TV back in the day. And uh, so it's it's real cool working alongside a legend like that. You know, talk to me about that for a bit, you know, because, like, he's been around the industry uh, for very long, so he's one of the OGs, you know. What's it like to to be in the in the in the light of someone that's been around for so long? 
Yeah, you know, it, at first you're definitely starstruck because you're like, wow, this is <laughs> yeah. this guy, you know what I mean? But I think after a while, especially with all the experiences we've had over broadcast days, we it's like we're almost friends. Like that's yeah. that's like how it, it is with it, like working with him. He's mm -hmm. very on top of things, very hands on. I love that. But also, he's chill. He's fun. Like like I said, it's like it's like a, I'm I'm hanging with a friend yeah, that yeah. I've had for a while and I've already worked with. We were sitting. We've been doing rehearsals while uh, we did a rehearsal that. Uh, there was a day where I was only on for a little bit for RLCS and I had to leave. It was the North American uh, major mm -hmm. and I had to leave, but the phase in uh, Shopify rebellion match was starting. Yeah, and yeah. we were like, oh my God, we have to watch this. We have to watch this. So we're all sitting in the green room and they're, and they're, uh, the production is like, hey guys, uh, you know, we're getting ready to start rehearsal for a second. And then Puck is like, yeah, can we just delay that for like a good, maybe like five minutes or so? Phase and Shopify are going to game seven. We got to watch this. Like, it's so fun. <laughs> because, you know what I mean? Like, he, he's really into Rocket League. He really enjoys it. And it's, it's a blast being around him. I'd love to keep you a lot longer, man, but I gotta let you go. I know you're a busy man. Thank you so much, though, for joining me again. Thank you for having me, Leaf. The backboard in the way. Now back down into the corner. Mist is there. And the clock has expired. Can he finish it? On the buzzer beater. Onto the backboard. Ooh. Turbo pulls us up for it. It's going to need more help again. Off to the corner. Atomic keeps it high. Is missed anywhere to be seen. There he is. <laughs> Seven. Atomic, what command here? Gets the bounce, the instant follow through, rapid. Challenge from a different player, so that's, you know, some really good synergy by them. In the challenge game, now Torment waits down field, back in in the middle for Gimmick. He's challenged, but he gets the ball past the last defender. P1 are not done. And finally, they've got the overtime to go their way. they expect and beating them to the punch by an inch or more first goes redirect off the crossbar toro smashes him and what the post it in somehow some way rogue punch it in just as soon as you thought g2 were gonna get out look at the ball off the crossbar the flip you know what it seems like every single hot shots we put out is better and better than the one before good job players and good job producers putting together a great show I'm curious how the EU version is going to stack up, though, but we have to get to my favorite, and I know it's your favorite part of the show as well, where we see what the community has been cooking up. It's time for The Breakout. First up, JJW93's friend, AFKs for some pizza. Alright, first up, you got a slice of that pizza for Karin during that moment. You could have gotten another one though. There was a moment where you could have bounced it off your teammate so he could have gotten an assist, you know? I'm just saying, looking up for your buddy here. But next up to all the people who say that your teammates are not the problem, Black Burrs offers this retort. <laughs> Now, while I do want to dive into teammates equal bad, I do have to say, we all make those mistakes, and I think it's just that we forget that we make those mistakes. Well, I mean, not me, so I'm just trying to, you know, relate. I know you guys make a lot of mistakes. It's obviously never my fault. So, let's move on. Chanman404 gives us all the angles with a cinematic look of one of his goals. Oh. 
honestly, a, a lot of montages start to look samey after a while, but that one, pretty good. So, shout out to Chan Man on that one. But our next one here comes from Hey Ho Bromo, who wants to know if substitutions are allowed in Rule 1. This requires a lot more than about 10 seconds to figure out, because I initially was saying yes, but now that I think about it, I don't know if I can lie. You're, you get a pass for now, until the committee comes together with a proper solution, okay? Now finally, the Q-tastic brings us this week's That's So Calculated. team working together now they had titled their post dumbest goal ever but clearly you don't watch the rlcs and clearly you haven't seen any of turbo pulse's goals go watch a montage of those and then tell me if that's the dumbest goal still moving on though up next double tap is all about the career of shah zip so let's dive into it false home to the city of love delicious food and several of the best rocket league players that europe has ever known one such player is two-time dreamhack champion shazet 45 a true veteran that's been scoring his way into the spotlight since the early days of the rlcs shazet got his early start in the game's life running literally dozens of weekly events to build up his fundamentals and standing within the rocket league community though he attempted to earn a spot the very first season of the rlcs as part of the team shooting goal the squad fell tragically short of making the cut, finishing 8th place in the European qualifier. Finishes it off, heartbreak for shooting goal, who's looking for their first win, but flip side, they have no mercy. No they will mercy. beat you down. That was insane how fast they gave them the lead, and in 30 seconds they took it back with amazing team plays from Marky to Mike, and Mark Mikey to flip side. Final second of gameplay, Mike's just trying to kill this one. As you had players already leaving the match before the ball hit the ground, that's 5-0 for Flipside. Yeah, you could see Flipside. He would find more luck in the second season, however, thanks to new team Red Eye. The squad moved on to the European Regional, where they placed a solid fifth. Too low to make the land, but high enough to earn a healthy payout, and the attention of a couple very prestigious players. In early 2017, Shazette was recruited into the newly formed team Pocket Aces by Season 2 Grand Finalist Pashi90 and Violent Panda. Fittingly enough, the trio would trump Pashi and Panda's former org, Mocket Esports to make it out of season three qualifiers. This advance, but Mystic, a chance to far pass. Oh my. up just too far behind that one. The pass too fast. Pashi clears that one down. A drop. Not yet. Mystic with a chance. Very peak. Kadop ready for that, but Pashi. It stays up. Once again kills it, but to the side. Kadop to Fairy Peak. Fairy Peak and Kadop moving up the field. Panda and Shazam playing this slow. They know it can happen. Mystic still has a chance to keep it alive. We're still, that's going to drop, oh. doesn't get into the corner. Bakken Aces, going to be your first European team into the RLCS Season 3 League play. But the winds of change would continue to guide Chazette to new frontiers, which is how he found himself joining a new team once again later that year, namely Paris Saint-Germain Esports, the banner under which Chazette would experience his finest hours. Less than a month after their formation, PSG had already staked their claim in Europe, as Chazette and company had won a hard-earned spot in the land, allowing the French Dynamo to compete Pete on the world stage at last. The defense is on these teams so strong right now. We've already had one overtime go to five minutes. Farrow though will find it, put it through, and PSG stays alive finally in five games. Finally, a small mistake from Gimmick, not able to get behind that, but his teammate trusted him and didn't follow up. Torment stayed right behind in net, leaving that gap too big, and PSG after a grueling overtime. Both teams just taking it back and forth. Phenomenal play from both of these teams. 
Unfortunately, they'd been sent home fairly early, falling to American powerhouse G2 Gaming in the lower bracket. Despite this, Shazat had what it took to trade goals with the best of the best, and he'd soon have the chance to prove it. In 2018, PSG went the distance at DreamHack Leipzig, toppling former world champions Flipside Tactics and ex-teammate Pashi to make it to the finals, where they got revenge on G2 Gaming in spectacular fashion. Chronovi va venir couper, Bluey, oh, qui s'est raté un petit peu, c'est dangereux, ça traîne au-dessus des cages, l'arrivée, oh, le service peut-être, Bluey, la bonne sortie au premier poteau. Oh, Chaussette qui a repris, il a prolongé ce ballon, c'est sur la barre, Ferra, la frappe, et, et le but Le PSG qui remporte cette rebound grâce au but en or inscrit par Ferra. Not content on stopping there, however, Chazette added two more significant notches to his belt in 2019. First place wins at both the prestigious DreamHack Pro Circuit Valencia and the Season 8 European regional, the latter as part of Team Reciprocity. Fairy Peak, popping this up high, scrub killer close, and it's not going to happen, Chaussette kicks it down the field, they got to score with any amount of time left to have a chance at it, but time expires, the ball in the blue half of the field, the Coles are hot, and Chaussette, the hottest, sweeping vitality out of the regional finals, they are your European kings. Nowadays, he continues to perform well in the region, helping Team Solary win runner-up spots in two hotly contested major events. The sky's the limit for this ferocious Frenchman, as his star continues to rise year after year. You know, sometimes it's easy to forget that Chazette's only 20 years... He's, tw he's only 20... I'm so old. He's only 20. It feels like it's been so... Because he's been in the scene for so long. That's ridiculous. Now, we did mention, you know, he continues to perform at the end of that segment there, but there was a little bit of a dip. You know, we did see, uh, I don't know if it was complacency or a bit of a uh, lost uh, idea of where to go uh, in the RLCS. So it seems like he's stepping back to it though, and he's been stepping up. So I'm very excited to see if Chazette can stay uh, as one of the top dogs in the European region for quite some time to go. But that is all the time we have for you guys today. You can check out more of our content, of course, on our socials, YouTube, there's stuff there, and of course, Twitter, at Squad State. Thank you guys so much for watching, and for a little overtime action, here's your weekly backfire.